Stacey Abrams has now apologized for a photo that she posted of herself maskless in a classroom while everybody else in the room, students and adults, are all wearing masks. And I often wonder to myself, is this type of thing pure evil or is it just incompetence? Obviously, it's a little bit of both, but this is a small relief because now at least I know that some of these people are just really stupid. That's not to say that there aren't evil political masterminds all over the place, but Stacey Abrams certainly is not one of them. She posted the photo, or at least one of her team members did, and we all know that she's running for governor out in Georgia, so I highly doubt that she was just winging it. That photo made it through layers of staff members to get to social media. It got wrecked. And then they just said, oh, well, I'm sorry. I was trying to read books to children for Black History Month, and I wanted them to see my face. And now the right wing is just trying to score political points. It's like, bruh, you posted the photo. You thought it was a good idea. This wasn't some undercover political hit job. This wasn't an angry waiter at the French Laundry leaking photos of Gavin Newsom. This wasn't a security cam at a salon capturing Nancy Pelosi walking around maskless. You did this. You blamed it on everybody else. You played the race card as you typically do. And then you said we should still keep the mask mandates, even as people in New York and California start to back off the insane mask mandates after they were caught numerous times doing the exact same thing. We also have Leanna Wynn of CNN saying that, oh, well, Maybe this should be a personal choice and the science has changed. None of it makes any sense. It's all complete nonsense. But let's listen to Stacey's apology with this lovely CNN reporter. So obviously we've all seen the picture. We've all seen the coverage of the picture. Did you make a mistake by taking a photo maskless in the classroom when it appears that everyone else, including all the children, were wearing them? Yes. I will say this. I went to read to kids for an African-American read-in day. Okay, so she can't even get five seconds into her answer before she says, I was just, it was African-American read-in day. The race card is so tired, it's over. How do these people not get it? I mean, we've moved on to vax versus unvax. It's not black versus white anymore. We've got all these other divisive tools, and she still can't get off the race card. It's absolutely insane. I approached the podium with my mask on. I followed the protocols. I told she approached the po the podium with her mask on. She follows the protocols. That kind of sounds like Eric Garcetti saying, oh, well, I hold my breath when I take a photo or Gavin Newsom saying I was being really diligent. None of this makes sense. How are people still buying this? You throw the race card in there just to as a, as a little defense shield, obviously, as we know, but it's so tired. Nobody's buying it anymore. How much longer can this possibly go on? the kids I'm taking my mask off because I'm reading to kids who are listening remotely as well and we were socially distanced the kids were socially distanced from me I told them that the kids are not socially distanced from you we can see it right there in the photo so you are now asking us not to believe our lying eyes but to believe you who are lying right through that huge gap in your teeth I, I can't imagine how anybody can still look at this and say, yeah, I, I really like that Stacey Abrams. We don't know what she's known for. We don't know what she's done except for claiming that she's really the governor of Georgia. That's what I was doing. And in the excitement after I finished, because it was so much fun working with those kids, I took a picture and that was a mistake. Protocols matter. No, taking the picture was not a mistake. And no, protocols do not matter. The mistake is the stupid mask mandate that we all know is stupid. You know it's stupid. All the governors, all the mayors, they all know it's stupid. That's why they continue to break them. But they still are hanging on to this little bit of power over people to force them to wear this little thing over their breathing holes that we don't even know if it works. I don't want to get kicked off YouTube, but um, I don't think they're quite as effective as you might think they are. And we all have the, we all have seen the old footage of Fauci saying it doesn't provide the perfect protection, blah, blah, blah. But we throw that out the window, force everybody else to do it, but then we don't do it because we are powerful Democrats. And protecting our kids is the most important thing and anything that can be perceived as undermining that is a mistake and I apologize. Protecting the kids is the most important thing. So having these kids sit, sit for eight hours a day in school with their face holes covered up is protection? No, it's actual torture, it's child abuse, and these people are insane. So, so let me ask you though, because at the heart of this, I understand, so you know, you're, you're, you're apologizing for making a mistake. Um, but at the heart of this is why we're in this situation right now mm -hmm. to begin with, right? Um, you know, some people still believe in mass mandates. Others feel that it is long past the time, especially when adults are, are often no longer wearing mass mandates and mandates have been listed, lifted. Yesterday, four Democratic governors 
set specific timelines to lift man mass mandates in schools in the next few weeks. The New Jersey governor uh, just a few moments ago wire crossed saying he said he's received, quote, overwhelmingly positive reaction to. OK, so they are admitting now that everybody's over it. Democratic governors are receiving positive reactions for them allowing people to breathe freely again. London Breed has done the exact same thing. And it's also really funny how these things continue to happen at the exact same time because the science just changes at the drop of a dime and all the Democrats do the same exact thing that most regular people had been saying for two years now. His decision. So do you think it's time to, to lift these mask requirements in schools? Would you lift them if you were governor of Georgia? COVID hygiene is going to be a point of debate for a very long time and we can... So no, the answer is no. What she's saying here is that no, we are going to use this forever and ever. It's never going to go away because it is our last source of power. We're just going to keep telling people that they're going to die if they don't listen to us. Only follow the science and follow our... And, the, and I'm sorry, but... This follow the science, it's beyond parody at this point. Really, are we still saying follow the science? It doesn't make any sense. It truly doesn't. They continue to repeat the same catchphrases over and over and over again. Follow the science, racism, climate change. They beat these things into a pulp until the words that they're saying have no more meaning at all. Our circumstances. Unfortunately, in Georgia, we're not at a place where that conversation is ready because we have one of the lowest vaccination rates in the country. We have 40% of our counties without general pediatricians, and we've refused to expand Medicaid, so so many families don't have access. Oh, so people just haven't obeyed yet, so we can't lift the mask mandates because they just haven't obeyed yet. So we're going to make them still do this because they won't do the other thing, when in reality, the fact that you have a low vaccination rate totally means that people are over it. And if you think this is going to score you points and get you into the governor's office, I hope you're wrong. You couldn't get it the first time. I hope you don't get it this time. This woman is absolutely awful. Access to health care. I believe that our job is to protect children. And I know that educators and parents have to balance protection and education, and that is a complicated issue. I think each governor has to evaluate what's happening where they are. We have to look to the CDC, but we also have to recognize that we are shifting no, from pandemic. No, I'm sorry. We don't have to listen to the CDC. We all know that they can't be trusted. R Rochelle Walensky, remember when she came on TV and was crying last year? and was like, oh, it's going to be a dark place. Like, this is absolute insanity. We saw on MSNBC that people, I think 40% of people, I made a video about it. Go ahead and check it out. They don't trust the CDC. They don't trust Fauci. But she says that we should just, we should keep trusting them, even though you, you have people on CNN, this very same network, saying that, Oh, well, it might be over and maybe she could be a personal choice. I, I This is what makes me believe that some of these people are really stupid. And, and I say that as a good thing because that means that they're not quite as evil as I initially thought they were. Demic to endemic. Some states are going to get there faster than others. My responsibility, if I am lucky enough to be the next governor of Georgia, is to look at the science, to follow the protocols, and to set the right example. Look at the science again. That's like the third time she says this. And then she says, set a right example, which is her pretending that she didn't do what she just did as several other real governors, not pretend governors, but real governors and real mayors were completely ignoring their own rules as well. So they're all setting just great examples. And right now, that example is that we wear masks whenever possible, but we recognize that we can't be a hard line about this because the situation... Oh, okay, so we wear masks whenever possible, but also we can't really be a hard line. Just, just do it sometimes. I mean, yeah, it's totally life and death. You can always kill grandma, but just we'll do it whenever you can, you know? Like, I don't have to do it all the time, so, you know. Situations change, and we have different moments where we have to make decisions, but... That's kind of like when London Breed was filling the spirit at a Tony, Tony, Tony concert in Oakland, California, or maybe San Francisco, somewhere in the Bay, and she was just filling the spirit. She was having a drink and dancing. So, yeah, I mean, that's why we don't keep a hard line, because, yeah, of course, we can take it off sometimes. Yeah. In this instance, I would say that as governor of Georgia, my job will be at that time to look at the science, to look at the situation. Look at the science. That's like the fourth or fifth time she said it. They just beat it into your head, even though it's absolute nonsense. And to make the best decision to protect our kids. All of which I understand. I, you know, at the heart of this, and you know, I'm a parent. My kids are wearing masks in schools. They, 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 they say they don't mind. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I'm a CNN reporter, and my kids love wearing masks. These people... Now, see, now I've switched again. Now I think maybe they are evil. I really don't know. It's, it's a daily battle. Um, but, you know, one thing you said stood out to me, and that is because you were reading 
you wanted them to see you read. You wanted them to see your expression. And that is part of the reason people feel the way they feel. Exactly, your natural instinct, which is, well, I was reading to them, I wanted to be able to share that. Does it concern you that these mask mandates are preventing their teachers from doing that same thing? Uh-oh, it looks like CNN might be doing a tiny bit of journalism, so I will give them 0.00001% credit for asking a decent question in this case. Our teachers are being asked to teach in small classroom sizes. They're teaching in overcrowded classrooms with limited resources, and not every classroom has the, the ability to have well-ventilated classrooms. They don't have the ability to make sure every child is protected. And so- Oh, okay, so yeah, it's the ventilation. So we should force everybody everywhere to wear a mask because some schools don't have the proper ventilation. Is she even, does she even realize what she's saying? This makes absolutely no sense, but that's par for the course at this point. Yes, mandates make sense when you're trying to- Mandates do not make sense. What are you talking about? This is just a, oh my God, this is so painful to watch. Ask a teacher to protect an entire classroom. That does make sense to me. I live with my parents who are immunocompromised and my niece who is 15 and goes to school every day wearing a mask. Okay, so now we're using this anecdotal evidence that she lives with her parents or whatever and they're immunocompromised. So of course school children across the country should have to wear a mask for eight hours a day in school because somebody's parents are immunocompromised even though they're probably 80 years old. Yeah. My responsibility in that moment was to explain to those kids why I was doing something they weren't doing, and then as soon as possible to put that mask back on. I took the mask off because I was speaking remotely to two other classrooms and all, wanted all of them to hear me. But the larger point I want everyone to take from this is this is complicated, and we cannot make this about politics or scoring political what points. What an this absolute joke. This is complicated, and we can't make this about politics. I mean, the projection is just so so insane. Obviously, this has been political from day one, right? I mean, the blue medical mask is basically a sign of you saying, I will obey anything that the media and the Democratic Party tells me. That's almost quite literally what they say, like what, what they stand for. I think, I think it might have been Joe Rogan even who said that the mask was the Democrats' MAGA hat. And that's totally what it is. It's been a political symbol. And I think it was David Hogg, correct me if I'm wrong, that said that he was he got the shot, so he doesn't want to wear a mask anymore, but he's going to keep wearing the mask because he doesn't want to be mistaken for a Republican. So for her to say that this should not be political is an absolute joke, but obviously that's been the game for decades now, not new. It has to be about how do we protect our families? How do we navigate what's going to be a part of our community for quite some time? And as we shift from pandemic to endemic, we've got to be able to have these conversations in a civil and thoughtful manner and not use it as a volley to score points. I want okay, so she says that she doesn't want to use it as a volley to score points, and that's obviously because she posted the photo herself and it backfired on her big time. So now, well, we can't be using that to score points. I mean, those points were scored against me and we just can't have that. And this is all happening while California, again, is backing off the mask mandate. New York is backing off the mask mandate just a little bit. No word on the vaccine stuff just yet, but Fauci as far as the mandates, but well, those insane states are kind of sort of backing off and I'm sure it has nothing to do with them getting caught. It has nothing to do with the Super Bowl, none of that stuff. But while that's all happening, Fauci is saying, well, maybe we need to make a fourth dose just to be really super duper safe. And that's the science of it. 